Uh, new question, the member from Nipissing. Thank you, uh, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Finance. When the Liberals took office in 2003, revenues in Ontario were just over $66 billion. Speaker, today revenues are $124 billion, but sadly expenses are $132 billion. It's clear we don't have a revenue problem in Ontario. We have a spending problem, Speaker. On W5 last week, the Treasury Board President emphatically announced, we're out of money. She then stated, quote, we have to do everything we can to raise revenues. So, Speaker, my question for the minister is simple. Which taxes are you going to raise this time? Thank you, Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, uh, Ontario's GDP has now increased 14.4% from the recession low and is now 8.9% higher than it was during that time. So we have grown our economy and we're continuing to do what's necessary to provide greater prosperity for the people of Ontario. And we are being disciplined and determined, ensuring that we control our program spending. And as a result, Mr. Speaker, year over year, we've exceeded our targets and we've done what's necessary to bring down our deficit, as we said we would, and we'll go to zero by 2017-18, ensuring that we invest in our economy while protecting those programs that are essential to the people of Ontario, health care, education, and social programs. Thank you. Supplementary. Back to the Minister. It's alarming to hear the head of our Treasury announce to the entire country, quote, we're out of money. And then last week, the Minister reported meager economic growth in Ontario. In fact, he showed we're stagnating. He reported annualized growth of only half of what was forecast in his spring budget. Because the Liberals simply cannot control their spending, they will come up short by hundreds of millions of dollars. This happened last year too. They came back with cap in hand for a further $500 million. But this time they've already blown through their contingency budget. So again, Speaker, I ask the Minister, which taxes are you going to raise this year? Thank you. Minister of Finance. President of Treasury Board, Mr. Speaker. President of Treasury Board. Good morning, and I am delighted to uh, to actually give the quote in, in full, Speaker. And, and actually, the documentary did carry the quote in full. And this is a quote uh, that I am fond of using. Uh, a, a physicist named Ernst Rutherford, a New Zealand physicist, had a project. And here's what he said. He assembled his crowd together. When they hit a financial problem, they said, gentlemen, we have run out of money. Now it is time to think. And Speaker, that is exactly what we're doing at Treasury Board. We are thinking through all of our government expenditures. You are the party that is standing up looking to raise compensation for physics. Finish, please. Uh, you were the party, Speaker, that, uh, re that rejected our plans to reduce the cost of, of uh, generic drugs, Speaker. We were able to bring down the cost of... The member from Wren for the second time. We were able to bring down the cost of drugs Answer. by 50 percent, and you said, no, don't do that. Keep those drugs as high as you can. You even had pharmacists running. One of them got Thank elected. You on the platform of race. Thank you.